Do you know that billions of connected devices around the world are now collecting and sharing data over the internet? We call this the Internet of Things, or simply IoT. With the emergence of low-cost microprocessors with wireless network capability, pretty much any physical device that you can think of can be transformed into an IoT device, enabling them to be controlled or communicate real-time data even without human interventions. In this course, I'll teach you all the important knowledge and skills that you need to start creating your amazing IoT products and solutions from scratch, step by step. Hi, my name is Joe Edgo, and welcome to IoT Development Training Course. If you are interested in learning more about this course for free, please like and subscribe to my channel, and please don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications every time I upload a new video for this course. This course focuses on working with the commonly used IoT hardware, software, platforms, protocols, and basic security so you can start building your IoT products immediately. Throughout this course, we'll be using ESP32, a low-cost and low-power system-on-chip microcontroller from Espressive Systems with integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You must know that there are many ESP32 boards out there that you can use, but for this course, I will be using the 38-pin ESP32S Node MCU development board. So if you want to use the exact same board that I'm using, you can check the link from the description below. While ESP32 supports multiple programming environments like Platform I.O. with Visual Studio Code, but we'll be writing our program for this chip via the Arduino IDE. You'll learn how to work with different sensors that you can connect with your IoT thing, from simple digital inputs like tactile switches to analog input signals like photoresistors and potentiometers, temperature and humidity sensors, sound sensors, and water level sensors. You'll also learn how to work with different actuators like servo motors, stepper motors, DC motors, relays, and push pull solenoid. Of course, You'll learn how to work with the ESP32's built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You'll be able to configure the Wi-Fi on your ESP32 as an access point mode or as a station mode. After familiarizing the ESP32 basic functionality, I'll introduce you to some of the online platforms that make it easy for you to create, deploy, and monitor your IoT projects such as Arduino Cloud IoT and Blink IoT platforms. With these low-code, no-code IoT development platforms, you'll learn how to build your IoT projects end-to-end -end seamlessly. This will help you to minimize the complexity of creating the entire application from scratch, thus enabling you to develop faster due to its pre-configured databases and server-side applications, along with drag-and-drop interfaces. This allows you to build web and mobile apps as a dashboard for your IoT projects instantaneously. So, if you're a type of learner that knows very little amount of coding and technical knowledge about IoT development, then this topic should be very interesting for you. And since there are limitations on the customization, control, and functionality of the free subscription to these low-code, no-code IoT platforms, I'll teach you how to create your own real-time database via Google Firebase to work with your ESP32 board. Well, Firebase is an app development platform that helps you build and grow your apps. So basically, it is a tool set that gives you a large portion of services that developers would normally have to build themselves but don't really want to build because they'd rather be focusing on the app experience itself. This includes things like analytics, authentication, databases, configuration, file storage, push messaging, and so on. The services are hosted in the cloud and scale with little to no effort on the part of the developer. It has many services used to manage data from Android, iOS, and web applications. And with this, you'll learn how to build your own mobile application using Android Studio with Kotlin programming, and be able to build your own custom-made IoT solutions with ESP32, Google Firebase, and Android Studio. Again. Thanks for watching this introduction video for our new training course and hope to see you in the next video.